Hi folks, uh, today we're going to look at the shift states and how to set them up in a verbal joystick. Uh, shift states allow you to extend the functionality you have on your stick. So for example, if I were to press the trigger, um, that might in a certain game send a command to, I don't know, fire machine guns. And a shift state will allow you to hold the button down and for example press the same trigger again and it will fire a different command into Windows and then you might configure it to fire the cannons. So basically it extends the amount of functionality you have on the stick with the finite amount of buttons you have upon the stick. First though you need to pick a button which you're going to use as your shift modifier and that will be exclusively what that button will be used for. Right, the first thing we're going to have to do is configure our shift state button. So it's basically, we're going to sacrifice a button on the joystick and use it exclusively for doing this shifting between different uh, shift states. So I, the button I have chosen to use in my current configuration, I'm using a Warbird base with an MT50 grip, is button 4. Button Physical button 4 corresponds to the little pinky switch. It's a good it's a good choice for a shift state button because it's very easy to hold that button in and press all the other buttons in your joystick. So the first thing to do is find it in the list. So here it is here. It's physical button 4 bound to logical button 18. Double click on it, hit clear and then save. So that basically stops physical button 4 from sending any commands up the windows because we don't want it to do that. Next, we're going to configure the shift states. So on this row here, we'll type in four. On the row below, we'll type in four. And we'll set this to on. So how this reads, when button four is not pressed, then we're going to operate in shift state one. And this line here basically means when button four is pressed, we're going to operate in shift state two. So we'll just save that back to the device. Right, so you can see that the shift selector is currently set at one because I'm not pressing the button. And when I press the button and hold the button, it switches to two, I take my finger off, goes back to one. So that is the first part done. That's basically setting up a button to activate as our shift. Okay, so we've configured our shift modifier button. Now let's configure some keys to work along with it. Let's load up the software. I'm going to pick the first four buttons, which corresponds to the round hat switch that does POV for us. So if I just press those around, that's physical buttons 9 to 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the shift state for these. So I'll just set shift to 1. And there you can see they're now being set to operate when the shift state is in one. Now what that basically means is that by default these buttons do not have a shift state which means if I press this particular button, physical button 8, it'll send button 1 to Windows. It will not matter what state it's in because it's not bound to any particular state. Now if I want to extend the POV to do other stuff, I find some unused buttons down here. I'm not going to leave any gaps so we'll do 18. Make sure this is tech because this makes this next part easy. I'm going to press up on the POV and set it to 2 and then click save. And the next one is freeze this one. Go right, set it to 2. Save it next, down, 2, save it next, and left. Save, uh, and that's it. So we'll send this configuration back to the joystick.
and I'll bring up the Windows joystick monitoring. Okay, so here we go. Right. Let's have a look at this. Now what this basically means is whenever I do not have the shift modifier pressed, I want you to send these button presses which correspond to the POV over here. So I'm just going to move the POV and you can see it operates normally. Now this time I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to hold down the shift modifier. And you'll notice that these other buttons light up. The same buttons are lighting up in both instances but the logical buttons are being sent the windows are different so we've extended the amount of buttons we have on the joystick by using these shift states and that's the basics of it now for example button one here which is our standard trigger it operates regardless of me having the mode on one or two and that's what the, basically this dash means in here. It means it's not configured for either mode, so it'll operate all the time in either shift <laughs> shift state one or shift state two. And that's the basics of how to set up your shift states. And you can you configure a, a button to work with it first, and the the two two different uh, shift states, and then whatever buttons you want to use for different shift states, configure them on this side. The default is obviously shift state one, and then for adding the extra functionality, it's shift state two. And I can go through and add this button, put a shift on it, and then go and add it down here and set the other shift to two. And I've now created an extra logical button I can send to Windows. So that's the um, kind of basics of it. Hope this helps.